Hello, everybody. <laughs> Boy. Here he go I mean, already. Do, do, do your thing, man. Do Here your he thing. go already. We gonna we, we 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 gonna be going at it this whole entire time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, I got O and B P Z in the pink room. Okay, all right. We got a little chocolate soldier. What's up, yeah. chocolate soldier? Chocolate chocolate so- <laughs> <laughs> it's me. It's P Z. All right, y'all. Um, I like to get straight into it. Okay. Well, first of all, let me ask you, how you feeling? How are you doing today? Oh, I ain't gonna lie. You just made me feel a whole lot better. You got good energy about yourself, bro. Real talk. I was already feeling good, though. Hey, that's I'm perfect. I'm feeling immaculate now. Thank you. Well, you're going to feel amazing when you leave here. Wow, it's special. Perfect. So how are you? Well, you said you're feeling amazing. What did you do today before you got here? Oh, I had woke up uh, early around like 10. Then I had, no, I woke up around like 11, 30. And then I had, I got a billboard in Times Square. So I had to go well, who check put, that who put, well, uh, who put that up there? No, uh, who put it up there, but for, for the, what? Uh, uh, for the album. Oh, no, but like what with DSP? Huh? What? <clears throat> what? Oh, it was YouTube. YouTube. Yeah, was oh, YouTube. YouTube. Okay. Yeah, it was YouTube. Shout yeah, out to yeah. my people over there at YouTube. <clears throat> for YouTube. Yeah. I mean, look, you doing your thing out here. Okay. We'll talk more about Le Paris. Mm-hmm. Oh, I said that good. Yeah, you did it. Yeah. You look, rolled that off. Look, yeah, I did. <laughs> We're going to talk more about that in a little bit, but let's jump right into it with the icebreaker. <clears throat> okay. I want you to dig deep and, and cycle it back as far as you possibly can and tell me the first song you can recall hearing ever, like three years old, four years old. It was a gospel song. Probably. All right. Let's give me more. Who? Now behold the lamb. Okay, it was one like the hymn the type ones. The precious lamb of God. You never heard it? No, I probably did. I was more, my mom was more of a Kirk Franklin. Oh, yeah, stomp. Yeah, <laughs> yup, yup. <yeah. laughs> hey, do you want a revolution? <laughs> woo, woo. Yeah, come on. Yeah, I, uh, I, and I think in church, like, you know, when we pulled the hymn book out, like, you know, we seen that. But um, in the house, my mom had it. It was, it was more of a, a vibe. Come on, listen to blues. Yeah, my dad, my dad. I feel like my, I feel like I heard a lot of that through my dad. They from Mississippi too, so like even mm-hmm. not even my dad, like it just like the way the blues sound is what my grandma, my house literally looked like. Like it just felt like that. But yeah, you're from, I know, I know exactly yeah, because you you're from like. Alabama. Yeah, exactly yeah like yeah. literally, the only thing missing was the ball and it, real dark on the porch, probably you know with Ball-y, the guitar. Yeah. yeah, you know what I'm saying. But um, the dope. food tasted just like all that and everything. Damn. Shout out to my family. Where you said you were from again? I'm, I was born in Louisiana, but my, my roots are from Mississippi. My mom and dad born and raised in Mississippi. Most of my family from oh, Mississippi. Oh, that's why you act like that. You're from Louisiana. Oh, I get it. I get it. What's that mean? I get it. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So it was, a, it was a gospel song. All right. So do you remember like where you was at and I, what was going on? No, I don't remember where I was. That was like two. But that's the that's the song that popped in my head though when I think, when I think like my first time hearing music. Yeah. Like a song like that. Mm-hmm. And then that blue shit, Sir Charles Jones. Yeah, Sir Charles, yeah. Is there anybody lonely that much? And you know, this is not necessarily music, but a lot of what I would hear on in the car with them was Rudy Ray Moore. Oh shit. You know that the old the old comedian, y'all know what I'm talking about? Yeah, he was the I was gonna say what the You hell? think it's you he more vulgar than Richard Pryor. You know Richard Pryor? Yeah, that's yeah. my dad. That's my daddy's favorite comedian. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. Like mm-hmm. Richard Pryor would, would is well, Rudy Ray more 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 vulgar than him. Um, but like that still that sound of that that black man sound is what the South sounded like and what a lot of music I would hear sounded like. Yeah, we missing that right now. We are. Mm-hmm. We. Re- I mean, I don't know. <laughs> I'm a bright it back. We'll talk. We gonna talk about what we missing at POV <clears throat> in that section. All right, so let's go back to square one then. You've been doing your thing for a minute, and we already know that. But I want to hear some stories about like your first time recording or writing, and and even just being like little peasy and trying to figure out like who you want to be as an artist. Um, so, what is the first time that you ever put pen to paper and start writing? My first time, it was a pencil. Okay, pencil. The way you <laughs> said pencil, oh my god! You, I was, I just had a lot of southern flavor back in Thanksgiving. But you giving it back to me right yeah, now. I got you, B. I got you, B. Everybody need a little dose of that shit. Yeah, the pencil. My mom, yeah, it, it was a pencil, though. It was a pencil, okay. Yeah, but boom, I was probably like, I was probably like, I was probably like eight. I've been telling everybody I'm going to be a rapper since around that age, though, like seven, eight. I wrote my first rap at my grandma's house. 
It was me and my brother and my cousin. Yeah, I remember that vividly though. How did you know you wanted to be a rapper? Because I love the music. I was always the best writer and shit. I was always good with my words, you know. Who were you looking at, like, on TV or in the media or something that made you realize, like, oh, I could be better than him or I could do that? So or I, I, her, him I, or her, him I, or they, I, they, I, she. I always had, like, a small voice. Like, my voice always been squeaking. So, like, Boosie was like. Really? Yeah, Boosie was like my, uh. Yeah, I'm yeah. like, yeah, I'm gonna do that. You know what yeah. Saying? yeah. Oh, my God. You know, you know what beat I would love to freestyle to? I be freestyling to myself with my friends. I get my friends, we get you drunk. Freestyle? Yeah, this is where the pink room came from. My friends and us would be like, sometimes we wouldn't even go to the parties because the pregame would last so long because we'd be in the studio just getting drunk and making music. And I would be like, what's the first song you remember hearing? All right, freestyle to that beat and da 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 or whatever. I just re I just uh, recently realized a song that I would want to freestyle to in front of my whole college class at homecoming with my 10 year anniversary next or whatever reunion next year is set it off. Imagine freestyle and telling all, the, all these hoes who you is and who you who knew you was gonna be, and how they was hating on you on that beat. I said this. I was feeling right. You know what I'm talking about? Okay, so you saw that and you was like, "I'm about to set this job too." So oh, well, exactly. Oh. So then you started doing your thing, but between you being eight to what? What? what how old were you in the first your first project job? Or when you first kind of had momentum? Because I know I found out about you on SoundCloud. I was 18, from 19. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. All right. So it was a long time coming between. Like 19. You've been, you've been. Yeah, I've been in this. For yeah, real, for real. you've been in this for real, for real. real okay. OG. Technically, mm -hmm. I mean, because that's 10 years right there. Yeah. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah, like 10 <laughs> Hold on, I'm 26. You just put two more years on. No, I said 18. From 8 to 18. Oh, mm -hmm. yeah, that's 10 years right there. Yeah, right there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 But I wasn't taking that shit serious, though. I was still thugging, though. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but you still had you still had an artistic outlet. Yeah. Right? Yeah, Imagine yeah, yeah. you out here thugging with none of that, with no yeah, yeah. outlet artistically. They got hella pressure built up on their chest. And yeah. Shit. So do you think you use a lot of your music or your I guess your passion for recording and making music back then to just get shit off before you even start releasing? Mm-hmm. It was like a diary always. Yeah. Like okay. A diary, so. Like if a show was like a diary, because I couldn't even get in the studio. So I'm just writing raps and shit like and just talking about. Uh, why couldn't you get in the studio? I couldn't find one and I couldn't afford it. Okay. My oh, mom, first time I can afford a uh oh matter of fact, first time I was in the studio, I was 12. My mama had a boyfriend, right? In California. And he had a studio and I hated his guts, but I loved the studio. Yeah. <laughs> so I, I had I had to act like I liked him to record and shit. I remember that. I remember that shit. You was fake as hell. I hated that. <laughs> but I love that studio though, and, and I appreciate that nowadays though. When I be thinking back about it, I be like, okay, he he down there seen some me early on type shit. So mm. I'm like, yeah, put that. But back then, you couldn't pay me to say I like that. Yeah. How did you feel when you first heard? Was that the first time you recorded when you was at his studio? Mm -hmm. How did you feel when you heard your your well, voice on the mic? That. That's it. I see people don't understand. Like when you hear yourself on the mic for the first time, like this. That shit blow me. I'm like, oh, yeah, I can do that. It sounded clear. Like, my voice cutting through the mic perfect. I'm like, oh, yeah. Yeah. That's another reason why I like doing my interviews with headphones, too, because I that I love listening to myself, yeah, too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I love yeah, my voice. Yeah. It's fun. And then just, you can you can just carry chemistry with the energy so much better yeah. when you can hear yourself directly mm -hmm. through these very highly, you know, articulated you see, you sonic see, equipment. You see how smooth I'm talking? I don't talk like this. I'm just listening to myself in the <laughs> Me headphones. too. Like, oh boy, you Yo, the, one of the guys I used to date said I would sound like a sex phone operator when I'm talking on here. I'm like, no, I just like see, to sound see, good. No. Keep, hold on, let me see. Keep talking. Hey, what's up? It's your girl, Chocolate <laughs> Silk. <laughs> Hell yeah. Hell yeah. Chocolate Silk on the line. <laughs> he also used to say, you know, like, he don't like when I, like, I don't have socks on. Like, I don't want other niggas in your feet. I'm like, well, what you got them toes on you? I got nice toes. Oh yeah, you got them toes. They look like ashy right now, but I got What's some nice like toes. What's like the side, five, five women? No, seven, seven. Okay, mm -hmm. down, down. So yeah, um, where we where, where where did we go from there? Oh, oh we were no, talking we about recording toes. in that studio. Okay, we went to toes. <laughs> <laughs> we went straight to toes. <laughs> straight to toes. <laughs> my toes still out, and they gonna be out because this is what I do on my show. Mm. All right, anyways. <clears throat> so then after you I don't know how long was you in that studio with him? Oh uh, that was that was brief though for real for brief. real. He okay. stopped letting me use because I was getting in trouble in school and shit. So he was like, you don't, don't want to be You, you ain't taking it seriously. Type shit. Yeah. No, okay. Your studio, so then after you got the studio bug, right? Cause you then you was like, Oh, I gotta do it. I gotta be in the studio all the time now. Mm -hmm. 
where did, would you go to the studio after that? It took me a couple of years to get back in the studio. It took me like, that was when I was like 12, 13. My, uh -huh. my next time in the studio was probably like when I was like 16 with my cousin Anthony, but he had me trying to do some R&B shit. I wasn't feeling that. Like he was a singer. So he always <laughs> used to want to sing on the hook. Yeah. And I wanted to do my own songs. He didn't used to let him do his own songs. Oh. Uh, he like was that. on it, huh? Yeah. It's like okay. Yeah. But you was in the studio. I was and that's what you it, wanted. It helped, it, helped me like, it helped me like find my boy. <laughs> Really being like having more of a melodic like mm -hmm. experiments and melodic mm -hmm. we hope you find your voice. Mm -hmm. I like to think that that's a um that's another way artists can find their voice too. I used to get in a lot of arguments with one of my good friends, the one that has that studio I'll be talking about. Mm -hmm. I'm like, sometimes I just wanna excuse me, I just wanna get on here and I just wanna like make sounds that I don't even know what I'm doing until like yeah. I hear I hit something and then it's like oh that's how I make a sound that sound like that and mm -hmm. I can hear it. And then you start to put those sounds together and yeah, then it exactly. sounds like something. Exactly. I turn the lights off while I'm in the booth be doing all type of shit. I be, oh, I'm doing yeah. all type of shit. In them ad libs. I love that. It's fun. That's fun as hell. But you have such a big personality. I could hear that in your music without even having you sit here. Mm -hmm. That's why I knew this was going to be a good one. Um, all right. So, when was your first performance then? Like, ever, 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 ever. Ever, ever, ever. Ever, I was ever, in a ever. talent show in the first grade. For real? You would be. Did you win? Nah, I ain't win, though. We What'd you do? I fucked up a couple of words. You rap Boosie or something? Nah, I was saying, I saw him stand by me. Okay. Yeah. What, like, the, is, is that the same, it's in the Lean On Me movie? No. It's uh, When The Night. And, um, oh, Stand, stand By up. Me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, wow. Okay. That was my shit when I was little. Why? Was your mama playing that around? Nah, nah I seen the movie with the, the, with the four little white boys. What movie is that? Why am I Stand saying? by me. It's called Stand by me. The movie's called Stand by yeah. me? Why am I thinking Lean on me? With Morgan Freeman. Yeah, you thinking uh, Eastside High. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Like okay. High. All right, cool. All right. So then after after that first time performing the talent show, do you remember how you felt, though, after you got off that stage? I was embarrassed as a mother. I fucked up the what words. What were you wearing? Did you have a suit on? Did she make you nah. put a suit on? Nah, we was wearing school clothes. I had you had a uniform? Yeah, uniform. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. So I'm like, I'm trying to put the picture together. You never been no talent show or nothing? <clears throat> I've been in a pageant you before. You like you played sports or something. I did. I ran track. I cheerleaded. I cheerleaded. Low, low. I don't know what the past sense of that is. Um, I, I cheered. Cheered. And I ran track. Mostly I cheered, but I ran track for two years. <clears throat> I played volleyball at one point. I played soccer at one point. And well, you're an all around athlete, huh? Yeah, I like I like moving my body for real. I like I'm, I'm a warrior at heart, really on the inside. You an Aries or something? No, I'm a Cancer. Oh, you a crab baby? You know, warrior. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, you trying to cry and even get punched? Nah, I'm right. Like, yeah, you see, you I some, do. You got some muscles on you. Uh, some muscles, yeah. <laughs> I do, I do, I do. All right. What was I asking? See, you you what cannot what host my show. My bad, gangster. My bad. Uh, come Thank on, you. Come on. Uh, <clears throat> we were talking about. We were talking about. Uh, Stand by me. Yeah, that my. That was your performance. Okay. <laughs> Then I, I, what I was trying to get to after that was really like the brink of your career when you first like I mean w when did you drop your first track again was it eighteen not yeah the end of the sixteen when you two thousand sixteen but you was yeah. eighteen two thousand sixteen yeah but yeah. I was 18, yeah all right so then after that moment then you really start taking the stages right and performing mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. tell me about like the biggest stage you performed on so far uh the Oracle Arena where the Warriors play. You know, oh wow. In the Bay Area. When'd you do that? Uh I did that probably like a couple of years, a few years ago. And then I did uh I did Jambalaya Festival. It was There's a thing. Jambalaya Festival? Yeah. That, that Is it Louisiana? Time. No, yeah, no, that bitch in like uh what that more for again? Yeah. Arkansas, Arkansas. Arkansas. Mom, I lived in yeah. Arkansas too. I yeah. lived in El Dorado, Arkansas. For real? That was so racist we had to move. It was real bad. They used to be like, you didn't wash the dirt off your face after recess. Yeah. I went through that, that type His name was Stan no, Bradley. That was that little name. He little Bradley? Was, Bradley, yeah. I'll beat Bradley. I'll beat Bradley this day, too. I would. Mm -mm -mm. It was at a Catholic school. Anyways. All right. So what I was trying to do is just kind of go from like Lil Peasy we all keep, the way. We keep getting out. We talking about Bradley and shit. I know. <laughs> oh yeah, so, so the Oracle Arena. Yeah, that was that was probably like my biggest. So I forgot how many people were. Probably like fifteen thousand, something like that. Mm -hmm. yeah. How did it feel being on that big of a stage? I ain't know what to do. The stage was so big. I ain't know what the f 
go on there, man. I almost got lost. So I just walked all the way to the front of the stage and just stayed right there. <laughs> that that low-key is a vulnerable spot, though. Yeah. All the way to the front of the stage. I just stay right there. I want to see people's face, though. I want to see that shit. But it was probably so many lights, right? Yeah, so many lights. Yeah. So. Hmm. Are there any other stories that you haven't told yet, like from like the beginning, like moments of your career, um, that really helped shape where you are right now? As far as like what, how I think or how I move or the position I'm in. Positions you've been in, people you've encountered, collaborations you've done, and may have ta- taught you more about yourself. Just like really pivotal like moments in in uh, your career so far. You ever heard of Bone Thug? At Harmony? Mm-hmm. Yes. Man, I was in the studio with Scott. You heard of Scott Storch? Yeah. I was, yes. in, I was in the studio with Come Scott on. I was in the studio with Scott Storch, right? Come on. So crazy bone coming in my Oh mama, I'm blow. I'm looking just like that, right? But everybody else on I was like some, oh man, like here we go again type. I'm on some just fucking crazy about. Yeah. So boom, I record a hook in a verse, right? He like, bro, little bro, I can go in there and say something. I'm like, hell yeah, do your thing. Man, it's doing that. Don't stop rapping. Sky Store is mad as hell. Like, we were supposed to be working. Like, yeah. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Because like, I guess, like, that's uh, why they was like, oh, no, my. No. Like, yeah, I ain't knowing, though. I'm I'm in awe. But I feel like moments like that. And then T.I., I had a session with T.I. We recorded a whole song. He, like, my dog just got out of prison. I'm finna go to the board and then come back. I'm like, man, he ain't coming back. But I wasn't tripping though, cause we just recorded the whole yeah, song. Yeah, see, I was just there, like. Bro, bro pop back up. We recorded a whole another verse on the song, all type. Of... Yeah, I ain't gonna lie. That's, That's love. Right. Not the one with Scott. The Scott Storch, you and Crazy Bone. I want to know what that was. Yeah, we got a song. I gotta find this in my email. <clears throat> yeah, yeah, that's crazy. Crazy Bone, shout out Crazy Bone. That's still my. Yeah, shout out Scott Storch. He produced a lot of the music that, like, that, that I think. Is a big reason why uh, hip hop is pop music mm-hmm. now. Yeah, for you sure. know what mm-hmm. I'm saying? And that was, he he was doing that a long time ago. Mm-hmm. Um, he produced Candy Shop, right? Too. I take it to the Candy, candy Shop. shop. Yeah. Mm-hmm. yeah. Mm-hmm. We was, mm-hmm. I was just we was just talking about that song with another artist um, earlier, right before you. Okay, now let's play the games. All right. Oh, so yeah, they're my type. Of yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Uh, Which one I'm gonna start out with first? I'm mm-hmm. trying to think. What 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 what's one of your favorite hobbies? Favorite hobby? Yeah. What's something you've done that you haven't you want to do that you haven't done in a long time? Go somewhere. Oh, I want to go skydiving again. That was wrong. Hey. You know what You want to go skydiving? Nah, but now I got the scene. Okay, let's do it. I'm gonna take skydiving. <clears throat> All right. I need you. You can stay like that, but just melt a little bit further into the seat. Close your eyes. Take your hands and put you them. You finna take me skydiving. Cold. Close your eyes. <clears throat> you do voodoo? <laughs> no. In front of these, yeah. No, no. Put them on your knees. Put them like, or like on your. There oh, we, we finna go. Meditate. Yes. Oh, that's dope. This is called shavasana. All right. Now you're just gonna you're gonna listen to me. <laughs> you're gonna called. shavasana. That's the pose. Use your unreal shavasana. You're on your back. <clears throat> Hold on, I gotta get comfortable. All right, get comfortable. Now take a deep breath. Don't be looking at my nails, bro. That's and melt I'm into on. the seat. Come on, you gotta Hold get on, into bro. it. You, the mindfulness is part of this. You need to do some yoga or something. Get your come on, get it together. Ready? Okay. I'll be doing <clears throat> yoga. All right. I've never been skydiving before, but I'm just gonna assume, you know, you on the ground, you getting suited up and booted up. They they putting you in the little Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Uh, all right, come on. <laughs> Yo, that's crazy, bro. I like how he got to get that out though. All right, so we 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 going skydiving, but first they got to take you up there. So they on you on the ground, and they putting a little suit on, they putting the velcro, to all the leashes on you, and you probably kind of hyped down now. Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm about to go skydiving again. Cool, great. All right, so then you get in the helicopter, and it starts ascending. And the higher it gets, the more nervous you get. Yeah, little stomach is dropping, whatever. But you also ready to just jump out and just go ahead and take that right. All right, so then you get to the peak, and you got to look. Out of the helicopter as you are getting ready to get pushed out of them. Okay, what song is playing as you begin to jump out of the plane and descend to the earth? Thank you, Red, about all BPs. Of course, it would be one of your songs. Why that one in particular? You can open your eyes now. Huh. Um, Welcome back. Damn, because uh, I was like, damn, thank you, Red, to mm-hmm. jump out this month. 
Oh, that's why you're saying that. Yeah. Okay. Makes well, out, outside of literally the lyrics of it, is there another sound a song that like sonically kind of creates the uh, that moment for you I as you you hear the helicopter spinning real heavy? Oh. You got the suit on. You get ready. Uh, John May of Free Falling. I love that for you. I do. Oh, good girl. In the city. Yeah. So oh, if, if you had AirPods on while you was fr- skydiving, that's what I'd be playing. You'd be playing. Mm-hmm. I love that. Damn, John Mary, that's a good one. You don't need listen to John. Boy, how old are you? Twenty six. Right, I'm thirty one. Who is not? <laughs> yeah. What's I know. I'm gonna be fine you? forever. <laughs> you what? That's how I'm gonna be fine forever. I'm saying you're thirty one. I'm thirty one. Yep. What you use for your face? I have a really intense skincare routine. Intense? Yeah. I, I, that's probably the one thing I spend the most money on is lashes and skincare and food. God, bro. Why God give me this heart, bro? This week, bro. Yeah, it's okay. All right. So we just took you skydiving. You would play Free Falling, John Mayer. I really, really love that one for you. Now I want to ask you, um, this is one of my favorite questions ever. <clears throat> if you could be a fly on the wall in the studio session of any song ever, or if artist, right? It could be an artist too. What artist or song would it be and why? Adele, easy on me. That was easy for you to answer. Why? Why that song particularly? I ain't gonna lie, cause I, I ain't gonna lie. It might sound crazy, but she for sure was like saying like my life in that motherfucker. Real talk. That's why I told that song. I like to be there and that making. And then I, I love Adele, bro. I love Adele. That's my. I, the men's really love Adele. Yeah, bro. that might be my celebrity crush. It's like Adele or Fantasia, you know? Not Adele. Adele. Adele, you gonna do Adele? Adele. Come on, Fantasia been killing it, though. You ain't seen her like her run right now? I mean, I like her lips, but Adele. Very tough. I'm usually not the lips, no lips. <laughs> Adele ain't got no lips, dude. She, she probably got something now. No, I ain't. I ain't. So ain't you gonna what? talk about music with Adele, but you can't talk about music with Fantasia. Nah, you gotta like, look at Fantasia's like lips. Fantasia, I like Fantasia's uh, music. Nah. like she got she 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 made the rest of the voice singing cool. I yeah, no, nah, I, I only said that because like a lot. I mean, the men's love when I see you. You know, they love, and they love rolling in the deep. You know. Keisha Cole too. She one of the ones too that y'all be singing out the out your heart. Keisha Cole fine too. She is fine. She look good. She looks great. Yeah, she still. Look, yeah, she I'm look like, good. she does not look like she aged. I don't know what she might be doing, but it looked like she ain't doing nothing, but it still look is like it's doing something. Yeah. She look great. <clears throat> okay. Um, that was I like that answer too. Cause if she I need to go listen to that song. Yeah, like, go listen to that. She she for sure talking about my life. Now. Easy on me. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Another question. So, you know how sometimes you might listen to a song for the first time and you're like, damn, this motherfucker is a hit. Or like, this is a good one. Mm-hmm. And you get stuck on it and you put it on repeat. And maybe for like the, that that week, you kind of just, that's your go-to song when you put your headphones on. What's mm-hmm. the last song that you got stuck on and why? Uh, it's a uh, it's a song. Damn. Last song. Oh, on my mom, I know it's a guy called... Uh, Man, I just got hip to bro. I seen this song on a reel on Instagram. It's called Amen, but I, I don't know his name. Hold on. Hold on. Tell me his name because I think, do I know who you're talking about? You might. Hold on. It's not Tizo Touchdown. No, nah, his name Noby. Noby. Okay, yeah, I don't. N O B I? N O B Y. N O B Y. No, I've not heard of him. Yeah, yeah. Interesting. It's called Amen. Is it like is it melodic? Yeah, it's, like, yeah, it's like melodic. It's like melodic. Gotcha. It's, like on some, it's like on some Bory <laughs> type. Okay, all right, yeah. I think that's what I was going to So you might be from Canada then? I don't know, because Vore from Canada, I think. I don't know. I don't know, whatever. I fuck with Vore though, Vore hard. Yeah, no, he hard too. Um, why do you think you like that song so much? I can relate. And, and I, I I just like poetic music, bro. I like I like poetic music. I don't like when I'm on the song just rat, tat, bat, Yeah, rat, tat, bat. It got to be, like, be like some poetic Going on. Like bro said, he said, uh Noby said, I must be made a memory phone. Cause I remember how they lied on me. Yeah. That's a ball. That's dope. Oh, That's whoa, whoa, I just got that. That's poetic. Yeah. Lied is in like lay, but yeah. like he used it in okay. And then memory phone. Cause remember I remember how, how they damn. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that's a ball. I like like this. Yeah. yeah. See, when I'm listening to music. I'm more so listening to see how my body and how my like how yeah, I just start like, responding. Yeah, like the I like the the rhythm. I like the how my emotions start to kind of feel more of like a physical 
Like translate yeah. translate into more of a physical realm. Yeah, you're a second line, baby. What does that mean? You from Louisiana? Oh, you mean on the second shit. line? Yeah. But I thought you meant I'm a second second line, baby. No, yeah, Isn't nah, like I don't yeah. got a good ear. Yeah, nah, y'all just like. Yeah, yeah, I'm a movement yeah, person. Yeah. I'm a. You see, I'm like I keep yeah. moving right now. I can't stop <laughs> moving. Just, you said I could never. Episode. I could have never been doing this the whole time. Whatever you doing? Oh, you kind of tall though. I was just saying, I can't move around this little bit of his couch like you're doing. Oh, yeah. I, mean, I, I guess I am pretty small. Damn. Somebody was just on the couch and, like, it, it kind of couldn't get up. Like, damn. I'd be on this like this. And like, I can't do it. Oh, my goodness. Okay, wait. Is there one more game I want to play with? I want you to make a playlist for me, okay? All right. You know what? We're going to make a playlist called Chocolate Silk. Okay, silk, and okay. the and the and the reason for this is giving like D'Angelo, it's giving like Erica Badu vibes, it's giving like chocolate silk, so, chocolate soldier on the date night type vibes, you know. All right, so I'm gonna start out with a song, and you gonna we gonna go back and forth, and we are gonna do three songs each, so it's gonna be a six song playlist. All right. <clears throat> okay, so I'm gonna say "Lately" by Tyrese. Layla by Tyrese. Oh, I see where you want to go. I told I see you where I love yeah. you. Okay, I'm going to go. I'm going to go. I'm going to go. I'm going to go. I'm going to go Sir Charles. Just can't let go. Damn, why would you take it there? Yeah. Okay. you took it that far. Yo. That okay. Where I'm going to go after that? Um. Damn. I'm going to do They Don't Know by Duh, John B. Huh. We both got one more. I'm going to go ahead and do that. Uh, one, yeah, like a dream come true. What the nigga name is? Two, one? just want to be with Babyface? No. No, 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 no. Me Night. <laughs> yeah, that's Brian McKnight. Yeah, all right, then yeah. I'm going to close it off with Say Yes by Joe, Joe Scott. All you got to do Dude, is say, say yes. yes. Uh -huh. They kind of all over the place, but it's still the same thing. I like Joe Scott, too, though. Yeah. She pretty. She beautiful. Mm -hmm. All right, I like that. So... Sir Charles, I've known is a, is a theme. A lot, a lot of men love Sir Charles R and B, for real. I remember I think it was YTB Fast that he would get married to a, a, a Sir Charles song. I mean, I don't know which one. You know, Sir Charles is a dude. Yeah. You said who did what? YTB Fat was saying he would get married to a, a Sir Charles song. Oh, oh, okay. oh, yo, because the way he just looked. Yo, <laughs> like, you know, no, 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 no. <laughs> Let's clear that up right now. To a no, Sir I Charles. Get married, oh, my mama, I get married to a Sir Charles song too. See, that's what I'm saying. Oh, that's the thing. But I already got the song. I'm gonna play at my window. What is it? Love No Thought is by Chief Key. <sighs> You playing? Who's gonna give? Is she gonna give you clear? Like she has to agree. She gonna have to agree. What you think going on over here? What part of the uh, what part of the wedding is this gonna be played at? The end. Okay. We don't love no that is. I just married up. Yeah. Okay. Guy, you. Okay. Maybe you in the maybe you in the groom's party walking out to that or something. Nah. Me and my wife. You and your wife? All right. Whatever. Because like, y'all talking about y'all looking, we for, the looking for the hoes. looking for the hoes. Nah, we ain't on that. We, yeah, we don't love no that is. We just married the biz of the biz. Okay. Le Petit. Let's talk about the project then. All right. Come on. Um, my first question is, which one out of all those songs do you think you felt the most vulnerable recording? That's a good one. Uh... Like, felt, like felt stomach drop in your stomach, like, you know, heart drop a little bit because you starting to say something with yourself in that poof. Probably Allah. Allah? Like Allah? Mm-hmm. This song called Allah. Okay, why? Well, tell me about, tell us about Allah. I was saying a lot of like, uh... Is that a double one See, look, a lot of oh, You funny. <laughs> <laughs> you funny. <laughs> 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 cool. Well, look. Well, look, though, it's like, oh, no, I be saying a lot of my music, right? Mm -hmm. About a lot of people. But I put it in an intricate way to what a motherfucker gonna peep. But if a motherfucker relate to it, then they and they going through the same thing, they gonna peep and they gonna like the song type shit. So I don't wanna like expose the shit I was talking about. You just I want to, to ask you, hold on, expose one. Give nah, us one. Give nah, us nah, so we got go listen to I'm it. I'm gonna lose a lot of friends. <clears throat> okay. Uh you know what? Actually I feel so when I asked you that question. Well, I love how you answered with that song because I think that one time when I was trying to like record or say something, 
and it was people in the room. I kind of didn't want them to hear what yeah. I had to say, but I was on the flow and I'm like, I want to let it out. Then I like somehow subconsciously found this weird, not, not real way, but like a, a coded way of saying what I had to say. It was harder than it would have been for me to just say it, but it felt really like liberating to uh-huh. just like, like that. And it was, a per- it was a person in the room that knew kind of what the situation was, but they didn't know what the I was really talking, talking about, about. Mm-hmm. yeah. That always feel good. <clears throat> it feel great. You, get, like, <laughs> you getting it off, you getting it off your chest, but it's like you ain't singling nobody out, or you ain't like you did this or you did this. It's yeah, like, yeah. So when you go in a booth, or when you when you well, let me ask you this first: Do you write before most of the time, or do you just go in a booth, or is it a mix? It depends on what I want to talk about. Now, if I want to talk about some serious, serious, then I'm gonna write about it. But if you're but talking if, about the hoes, if I'm just talking about the hoes. Oh, I'm freestyle. I can freestyle about them whole. <laughs> yeah, I can. Yeah, I can freestyle about them yeah. whole. <laughs> you so silly. Okay, so um, damn. What was I asking before that? We've been laughing a lot. I love this interview. No, nah, that's is dope. Fun. That's dope. We got to smile, man. <laughs> yeah, to smile. This is fun. So then, out outside of Allah, so that's the most vulnerable one. Which do you think was like the most liberating? Not liberating. Was like the most uh. How can I say this? Like King Kong, like beat on my chest, like talk your. Sh- uh, jump, jump. Yeah, featuring uh J. Dot Breeze or Hell Yeah featuring uh T. Grizz. Oh, I like oh, I yeah. love T. Grizzly. Okay, oh, yeah. that's gonna be the first one I listen to then. Yeah, hell, hell yeah, because yeah, I ain't listen to it. Yeah, not yet. <clears throat> I was I was talking about a little freak in that month. She knew exactly who I was talking about though. The girl that she was talking about knew yeah, you were talking about her? Yeah. Was she there when you was recording it? No, but I said some like specific shit in that, so I came on like, what I said, first ball was like upscale hotel. I just walked in with a red and a little freak want to argue with me because I didn't pick up her bag and she tripping. Why you ain't pick up the bags? It was a double entendre. Like, you come with all your baggage in your life. I don't want to pick that up. And when we was in the thing, I literally didn't want to pick up the bag, but I didn't feel like it was wrong. Really? It is wrong. I got if a sh- man is around you, you but did you even gesture to pick up a one bag? No. You just let her get out the truck and get her own. Sh- yeah. We had this established though. She ain't my girl. She a eater. Okay. But I grab a eater bags. Golly, you know I hate it for the ladies. These positions. I, I hate it for the men right now. So I'm, I'm, I gotta stand strong by this. Sh- Y'all doing us wrong. <laughs> Let's finish talking about Lev Pettery before so we then can ask him what the f are we doing to him? What are we doing wrong? So long. Um, yeah, I ain't doing nothing to Okay, me. last question about Lev Perry. I see now I'm, I'm getting country with it. Yeah. All right, so we talked about your talk your song. We talked about your vulnerable one. Um, it, was there any moment during this project where you were recording where like you felt like you had more of a writer's block or you couldn't, you, you had to like kind of step back for a second? Tell me about that moment and then how you got out of it. Um, I get writer's block all the time, man. I be having to let myself go through. Like, if I feel like I'm getting right block, then I feel like I ain't got nothing to talk about. You feel me? So I mm-hmm. had to take a break from recording for about a week, two. Roam through the streets right quick. <laughs> yeah. Not the streets. With, with a couple of eaters, you know. Yeah. Like that. And go go through a little something. So I can have more to rap about. It's like I'm sacrificing myself to help somebody get through, not go through, or prevent themselves. I mean, or get over them the top three. That's my purpose in life. I I, I kind of get that because mm-hmm. you, you are you are the vessel of expression for a lot of people outside of yourself. You probably don't realize that. Just like Adele, you know, has some shit exactly. that's really real exactly. for you. And she probably don't even know I exist. She might. You never know. Adele like the. I like to think like that though. I want. Like, I'm I, I'm a fan of her. So it's like I want to think like man. She probably don't even. Know what I if do. she does? She probably do. <laughs> I'm about to cry. Aww. Aww. I love her, dude. <laughs> <laughs> okay, well, um, I want to talk about these hoes, though. Well, not not we. <laughs> the hoes I'm talking about is different than hoes you talking about. I'm talking about the 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 men and how they are feeling like the women are taking too much control over music these days. Let's get into it. Mm-hmm. Huh? Why? Are I don't they, feel like they taking too much control. I ain't gonna lie. I feel what they doing. I feel that. I feel Six red glow, real all them for real, for real. Then why it hurt so bad? It don't hurt me. I just don't like the fact that. Okay, this is using girl slang words now, and then the girls is turning to like the girls turning to the like it used to be girls taking and sneaking pictures of while they sleep, not the sneaking pictures of girl rappers and shit while they sleep. Like it's I don't like the, I don't like what the world we in right now. You don't like know. where things are going. I'm an alpha male. 
You, he's an alpha male. I'm dead. That's why you said that she gonna have to agree, huh? Yeah. I should have known. I should have known. I, I want men to realize that, like, <clears throat> whether or not we are <laughs> the women becoming the whatever it is, it's something liberating for the women that are maybe the theaters that can then just turn it back on y'all. See, I knew you like my slang word. You like that theater word. See, see, I told you. That's not your word. Is it your word? That's your word. word. That's my little razzle dazzle. That's just razzle dazzle. There's something liberating about us being able to say, I'm looking for the hoes or point me to the sluts or I'm F-R-E-E fuck free. And that's totally okay. What does liberating mean? Liberating means... What's the best way to put liberating? I'm going to look it up. I'm going to give you the definition of liberating. Okay. Pause. Five seconds. Do, do, we'll, be back, do, we'll be right back after these messages, you guys. Because I want you to have the real definition. <clears throat> All right. The definition, the definition of liberating. Freeing a place or people from enemy occupation. The majestic entrance of the liberating army. Or providing... A release from a situation which limits freedom of thought or behavior. I like oh, that one. Oh, I get it. Providing get it. a release from a situation. Release me from these things. Which limits freedom of thought or behavior. So, it feels liber- like, like okay, okay. So, correct me if I'm wrong, right? So, women feel like they've been they've been having to hide, like, how freaky they is and, like, what they be wanting to do and wanting to say. So, they feel free when they say, I need some. Yes, I just need some. I just need some. Love. What's what summer say? That's, yeah, that's summer walk. Yeah, so, damn. All right, I get it. I don't see nothing wrong. Girls with Girls need love too. I don't see nothing wrong with that. But I don't, mm. it's y'all just don't like that. If you're in, if you're in a relationship, right? Mm-hmm. You can't be out this month. I mean, we need looking for the hoes. Like, uh. We don't know what they was in. It's but, oh, you mean like if we out, it's like shorty outside. Like you know, I'm looking for like the song. Come on. No, I ain't tripping the song. Come on. Oh, but if okay. you really living like that, you really like. Pushing that, like, yeah. I mean, so say say the person that made the song was really looking for the hoes at one point in her life, but she had, took two weeks off to go just live some life real quick and look for some hoes to go to go write about, and then maybe she in a relationship a little bit later. <laughs> oh, I like how you did it. I like mm-hmm. how you did it. Took a little week off of recording to go find some hoes. Yeah. Real quick. Release me from this. I can't stop thinking about where the hoes at. <sighs> you right. You win. We win, ladies. But just all right, the hoes part. Why gotta be hoes? I know y'all. Cause we the hoes, so now you're the hoes. No, now, now the I mama's don't call the baby. Women hoes. I call them kiddos. It, women. Ain't nothing wrong. If being I a look kid. up some lyrics and you got hoe in your lyrics, that little hoe. I probably said that little hoe. Yeah, but huh. I think I, I know for a fact you did. Yeah, I said that shit multiple times. Right. But I, but I don't say that shit like my regular conversation. I'm gonna say eat a kiddo. No, I mean? uh-huh, uh-huh. and I don't feel like nothing wrong with that. Y'all call niggas munches and shit. Now munch is so cute. That's like a that's a that's a vanity you said word. That's cute. That's a that's a that's a <laughs> bet like that's better than hold on. That's the best way to say like and no and honestly hold the holes ain't even the munches for real. The whole like the munch is the is one that the munch is the one that's just gonna come around just because anyway he you didn't text him back in like six months. That's the, the munch. munch. Man, the whole, I, the whole, you might not hear from after that night, dog, but you, he was a hoe that night with you. Dog, I was just in a car with him that night, bro. He called the girl, bro. He, where you at? I'm gonna come eat your butt. I said, what the? That's f-? a premium much right there. That's how much, that's much talk. That's how much move. Okay. Job. And right. guess what? He might go over there and do that and she might do some sh- you know, She don't do it. Nobody else could just cause that's, she with her much right now. She with the much that night or she might not even do nothing. That much getting a little bit more out of his much much situation than a lot of these that claim they not munches. Hard and bubble gum. Okay, whatever. Hard and I'm fresh out of bubble gum. <laughs> so that's all you got is hard. Gotcha. <laughs> Copy. All right. Well, look, we already know the women went in the movement. Okay, we, we might have to go a little softer on these hoes. I mean, these men because <clears throat> they actually they're feeling a little bit wonky about us taking their words and putting them back on them. But at the end of the day, we and women go hard on these. Women, they treat you like hoes. <laughs> <laughs> we, we are we are still soft beings, individuals. I guarantee you, is she with the one that she want to be with, or even if she I just went, I can take with, my jacket off. Yeah, go ahead, take your jacket off. We got one more section left, which is gonna be good. I think you're gonna like this one. <clears throat> that's a heart. I like that jacket. It has hearts on it. Oh, you like that? Huh? Yeah. I know. That's really nice. Where'd you, what brand is it? 
<sighs> you, you, you can't even get it I out. can't even get it off, man. It's Dude, okay. Uh, um, What I was saying was... Mike Sims. Mike Sims. Mike Sims. Okay. Well, like I said, the ladies went in the movement. Okay? Yeah, they going off. We going off. But I, y'all should still realize we still love our girls at the end of the day. Okay? We just need to feel a little bit something. We need to talk our... Beat our chest a little bit sometimes. And now we got the floor to do so. All right? All right. So, Peasy. Now we in the last segment of the show. All right. Yeah, there you go. Yeah, yeah. hot up here, girl. Why you tell my nose? That chocolate soldier. I didn't realize it was sweat. I'm not looking. I'm just, we just vibing. This is the energy right here. I'm probably a little shiny, too. <clears throat> we grease in it. That's, 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 that's just that, that glow. That's that melanin, baby. Yeah. 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 That's, that's that what, melanin. That's your whole life. Question, random question. You eat chitlins? No, you know chitlins. You eat chitlins? Uh, on, th- on Thanksgiving. You know I what do. chitlins is? I know what they are. You know they got to clean the shit out I know. Mouth. We clean, we remove the membrane and everything. You suck toes and stuff. I have... Yo, I can tell by what a girl eat how nasty they Yo, yo, I don't eat chitlins on a regular. It's like a, cult, a cultural thing. Yeah, I know you eat it like once a year and shit I'm like that. I'm trying to think how I suck toes. You I have. don't think I have. I think I wanted to. He was like, no. What? Yeah, he was a little. I think he was. He wasn't. He wasn't about that life. He was a little bit thrown off. I don't think he, the way I was touching that person. He just kind of was a little bit like, oh wow, she like you know. Rawr, rawr. Not even that. I was real soft and gentle. Like, oh, really? oh, oh, you, you was know. not no man. You could be both. Anyways, <clears throat> all right, peasy. Mm-hmm. So, we've just had a great bonding session. Great this conversation. bonding session, and we got a little clarity about the. Than the girls of the world these days. Yeah, we came to we came to an understanding. Came to All table. right. Do you have any questions for me this, for the last part of the show? Don't do that. Ask me questions. How you get to going? know me. How's my day? Mm-hmm. My day's going really, really good. This is the first day we filmed three episodes in one day, Damn. and we've been on a roll, and they've all been really great conversations. You don't get tired of talking to people. No, actually, I don't. And I was thinking about that as I was asking you certain questions about your project. I just came up with that so on the spot and I'm asking those questions all day but every single time I ask a question I ask it in a different way but this one I ask the best versions in this one in this episode mm-hmm. why you lean more towards like uh, this other than the sports you play a lot of sports why you ain't like go to the league or Um, first of all I'm running track for real for real <laughs> that's not no other it's not for the faint hearted that's a whole other thing well like Kyrie, k- 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 like Shakari yeah. or anybody um, is it Shakari or Shakari I know Shakari. I said it right the first time. Hey, sis. Hey, I know. Girl. I know. I'm rooting her own though. Yeah, I'm rooting the out of her own. Go ahead. Do your thing. I love how she growing up too. Yeah, she's um, sure growing up. My mom does nice. No, but funny you ask that because that's a that's the other part of my life. I work out a lot more often than I used to. How much? How much you squat? Okay, I don't. Okay, that don't mean no. I don't have to squat none to work out a lot. I was coaching Pilates. I do a lot of yoga. What's Pilates? How do I explain it? It's like a more of a low impact, like uh, strength training um, workout. You use your body. It's like yoga, but like weighted yoga with tension on it. That's oh, the best um, way um, I can um, put um, it. Um, 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 yeah, um, it I helps. It. it helps to tone you in more in a delicate way. Because remember, I was saying like I I play sports and stuff. I don't. I used to not work out and lift like that because I'm already built like this without having to do that. Mm-hmm. So if I was to actually really squat and and lift and stuff like that, I would be bulkier. Yeah, hey, you don't want to be right. Bulky. I think I like this, but Pilates keeps this tight and keeps the booty plump. For sure. For sure. Yeah. For sure. Yeah. So, yeah, I love that's the other side of things. My real dream is to be married and happily with a fam, happily married with a family, with a man that, you know, can can afford me to just have my show and be a yoga instructor and travel the world having city, fun. City or country? <clears throat> what? Both. I'm saying, where well, you want to settle in when you're old? You want to be in the city, walk around like New York or some shit? You want to be on some land or something? When I'm old or when I have my family? Oh, with your family? What do you mean? But I mean, like, I don't want my oh, kids kid, going yeah. being raised on I a farm. Feel, I feel, you know, I feel, I feel, I feel, that's I feel. they just it's gonna be too. When you, when you old, yeah. When I'm old, I want I want to be in the country. I do. I want space. I want land. Mm-hmm. A lot yeah. of space. Yeah, and but I still want the city. But I still want to be able to take my kids to the country in the summertime. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Oh, that's Good nice. Question. That's nice. That's nice. East Coast or West Coast? Oh, I'm gonna do East Coast. I don't like going to LA for real. It's cute over there. You don't like LA? No, I ain't gonna lie. I they LA don't well. like brown women over there. I've like gotten denied in clubs before there, and I was with people, people like that. It was they had they had to be like, no, she with us, like yes. And it like, is it is a lot of white bitches out there. 
It's a lot of just nah. Don't speak it a goddamn English. Y'all seen that movie? I'm talking. You know, I'm, I'm talking about the wood. Is that the wood? Oh yeah, yeah. yeah. You know, what I'm talking about. It's a lot of people that just don't speak. Like not, not that they don't speak English. You was at the wrong club. I was well. On which one should I be in? Because it's certain ones I ain't trying to be around. Certain ones, so I ain't trying to be too deep. Yeah, you don't want to go too deep. Yeah, I ain't trying I'll to be, be too I, deep. I'll be somewhere. I'll be some place. Do I look like a thug? Yeah, you <laughs> like a girl. I'm a nah, look, I'll be talking. I got a mouth on me. I will talk a lot of. Shit. I have to be careful. Um, no, I I I was dating one a dude there before, and um, he I found out after the fact because his little exotic girl DM me was like, I don't know why he was even talking to you. He said he doesn't like black look like roaches, right? And I screenshotted and sent it to him. He wasn't supposed to let that bother you. I mean, it did bother me because I I kind of knew that was kind of how he was, but he was saying, Oh no, because uh, his baby his his son black is so I know his baby mama black. You know what I'm saying? But then all he dates is shit. I know he he know I'm talking about him, but I don't give a f- Um, yeah. And then he also, I think he was he was scamming to a little bit because I was pissed at him because I got a call from the airline saying I had to owe, owe money for a plane ticket. And I'm like, wait, I didn't pay for that. And then uh, like the passenger, shit. yeah. He, thug he was thuggy thuggy. <laughs> I'm like, you're scamming that little fake <laughs> don't like black women. <laughs> Love a blue, but love love the melanin. All right, I got one more question for we do. Yeah, you like aggressive or like laid back? I like aggressive. I like assertive men. Like I'm a, too bossy. Oh, that's why you stay in New York. I'm not even that. I don't like these men out here like that. They aggressive. No, they just be lying too much. They I can't tell. I cannot tell man, if a New York man is telling the truth. I don't know, but a Southern man just have more of a of a. a uh, a, a ele- elegance of not elegance. They just they just softer a little bit. Not soft as in like soft, no, no, but no. like they handle you softer. I don't need to be handled crazy to be put in my place. You know what I mean? No, that's real. Thank that's you. some real. Sh- oh, I got one more question. Mm-hmm. Would you rather if you would have right say you would have three four years? My bad. This the P the P show. Right, the pink room with peasy. Pink room with peasy. Yeah, yep. with chocolate chocolate folds. Mm-hmm. So boom. Three years, right? You in a relationship. He cheat on you. Would you rather him? Would you rather him tell you, like, keep it real after you find out, or would you rather him just walk in and be, I just fucked up, hit this love? Yeah. I would rather just not know. I would rather just not know. Well, I, screenshot some shit and send it to you, like, huh? Your doing this, and mm-hmm. you ain't know. I would hate that she would do that. I hope that we grow <laughs> she to it. I would hate that. <laughs> I would hate that. I would hope that we. I hope we're, we as society are growing to the point where y'all just keep the. To yourself and just keep us delusional. I was talking like uh, about this to my girls oh, last so night. You wanna, damn. Kind of, not all the way, but like to be honest, like for example, I'm gonna give you an example. I went on the first date on Friday with this dude, had an amazing day, cool, great. The next day, like amazing. I thought I was, we thought we was in a movie, chemistry crazy. I hadn't been on a date all year because I was in another situation. So I'm like, oh wow, I found me one. Okay, cool. Then he didn't text me at all until like maybe 24 hours after that. So a whole day, I'm like, damn, you ain't gonna be like, a, hey, I had a good time with you last night or good morning. So then when he did text me that, he was like, I had a great time with you yesterday. And I'm like, yeah, me too. He didn't text back after that. I'm thinking he gonna be like, can't wait to see you again. Cool, great. Both of y'all playing mind games. Mind games. Okay, but look, I was freaking, I was not freaking out, but my I was getting that little that yeah, little, feeling, little, little feeling, yeah, 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 yeah. Like, I was getting that like, what the f you doing? Like you selling dreams and on the first date and then you ain't saying nothing. So I, in my mind, I'm like, if he just would have said, even if he would have said after I texted him back, yeah, you too, can't wait to make plans with you again. I'll let you know how my week is looking on Sunday and we can, you know, mark this date off for that date. That's all he had to say. I wouldn't have to hear from him for two days, two, three days after that. But he didn't say nothing back. So I was kind of tripping. But it's all about watering the flowers. You cannot go and pick up the flowers and then just go set them on the counter. That's what he did. He brought some flowers and like, okay, look, here you go. Set them on the counter. He didn't even put them in the vase. Didn't clip the ends. Didn't wake up the next day and pet them and say, "Oh, hi, Damn, these are... I forgot I got these. these yeah, I forgot like, I got these. Oh, mama, oh, mama, yeah, oh, and it wasn't until I said something to him about it, and he was just like, "Oh, now you know. Now he now he right. But it's just like I didn't want to have to say that. So now he already marked off the list. I already went back in the hand, just started going, putting the queue together for another Damn, day. Because why did I have to tell you that? That's real though. I feel what you said though. That's some real shit. I ain't never hear nobody break it down like that with the flower thing. Water your flowers if you keep watering the flowers ain't no way they gonna get dry and if and watering the flowers does mean say you say you want to go find some for that for that night you as a man are signing up to be a mother 
Gardner, mm-hmm. you were signing up for that. So the next day, you might have forgot you did that last night or I got some flowers. Like, got a little too drunk. N- not even that. You just literally have to start. Now I'm in the now I'm in the queue. So you got to maintain me. Now your bandwidth is getting a little tight, sweetie. But that's not my fault. You have to determine your bandwidth before you go step into somebody's life. All right. Or exit. OK, first day was great. But like, I don't I got the time. I don't got yeah. the I don't got the bandwidth for you right now. Mm-hmm. But I knew he I knew he I knew he. what we had was like, we're going to see each other again. I just needed him to tell me that. Damn, that's good to know right there, though. Good that to know. Got, you just got Why do you want the flowers? And you got to water, water them at least. Plants and I got a couple plants. I need to go on here water. Go ahead and do that. I don't care if you send an emoji with the flower bouquet with the little with the screen. Light I got up a couple of them off. I need to put some fertilizer on. Just do just do it. Send them a emoji with the screen on with the screen light up a little little fl- fairies that pop up you know what i'm trying to say on the iphone yeah i ain't gonna lie I, 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 what you just said really is common sense though for real for real like like me and I, a man I, just I, said I it know, i know i know i had a good time with a girl right and i wake up tomorrow I, I, I if i don't know what to say i'm gonna send a gift i'm gonna send like a little uh a little funny gift like mike gifts doing a little no, yeah yeah yeah, yeah. Like, yeah. Shit like that just a little more I don't think about them, but if I'm too busy and I can't call, then you can't get mad because I got busy the next day. You feel me? But I'm gonna send a little text through that, like I'm thinking about you. Just a me. gift, yeah. Mm-hmm. Uh, look, I see. I can't wait to see you again. Not okay. The night was good. Okay, no wait. I can't wait to see you again. But that's all I know. He wants to see me again. Okay, I go about my whole weekend. Cool, great. When he hit me up, I want to make them plans. He know what to do. Hey, is a girl not? Is a girl not getting wet and a nigga not getting hard for you the same thing? Yeah. That's the same thing, right? Yeah. So it's your father don't get hard. Not always. As you okay. as you grow up, as you get in your thirties, and these men start thirty and five and up, it I've noticed that it's like it's not me. I swear to God. I'm saying though. So who is it when they drop? It's y'all a lot of times. It's, all, it's, it's every yeah. time though. See, I was I said oh. a lot of times. I haven't had the issue where it's me yet. I'm still young and flourishing. For sure. Yeah. I just seen a video of somebody, and then it was like, "Uh, that shit wasn't." And they was like, "That nigga wasn't doing it right." And I'm like, "Hold on." No, literally, if you touch a woman in the right way, that the organ does actually yeah. start to lubricate. Like, the, you yeah. just got to do yeah. that, or you got to turn saying, it on. Though, like, full plate. Yes. Full plate. They be trying to dive in that mom. That sound, ooh, that hurts. Jesus <laughs> Christ. All right, y'all. Yeah, it has been a great time yeah, with yeah. Chocolate Soldier and Chocolate Silk in the pink room with Drea and PC because it's his show now, too, by the way. Mm-hmm. Um, thank need, you so much. Cup. Yeah, you need to, I mean, we need to get the cups. We need the cups. Um, y'all go listen to La Patty. All right. And start with Allah. Start with that one. Well, no, start from the beginning. My bad. I'm one of them skip around the track ones. Either though. Allah or God first, either one. Okay. All right, cool. All right, PC. It's been a pleasure. Thanks for coming to the pink room. All right, peace.